Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to and on this channel, see I is book. I'm a reality shows. It's a lime zanti versus the last so when the I'm a reviews or my recaps. See, I'm going to school me and I'm a celebrities. Ganya, I'm a youtubers. It's to Allah and Zant. If it's your first time joining me today and you really like our content, you are called to press the subscribe button, press the press the notification bell. Was a pillow to hold me a lezo. Manga bomb seven zo mocha se se wo fagin. There's also a join button for those who want to be members of the channel and there's also a thanks button for those who want to give money to the channel and thanks to everybody that watches adverts uh, on this channel as i'm going to talk about the on this table season six episode five yet again because i do want to talk about these two scenes that i didn't get to talk about in the full review that i did after friday's episode because we had the issue with electricity okay we live in south africa it's part of our life okay <laughs> It's like corruption, you know. What would we be without corruption? You know, exactly. You know, if you're a South African, you know, you know. <laughs> you just, you can't just be going to work and then nobody marks you, you know. You must get marked at least once in your life, you know, once a month or something. <laughs> you know, otherwise, I will, we will immigrate. So when they stop doing that, we will go to other countries, okay? Anyway, you guys. There was a scene that I didn't get to talk about in my full review, which was a scene they were taking a stroll, you know, trying to convince us that they take strolls like every day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when we already know what I'm selling, I guess not to get a lot of Kilim Ganja, no court and a court would take a lot of Kilim Ganja because the sugar piece named Tom. So we were like, yeah, we will pretend we, we uh, let's pretend that we do believe what they take strolls like that, so, you know, just in the middle of the day, the mass stroll and just again. Ah, anyway, so it always seemed like. I think Ulokuzana Umayeni no Lona. It always seemed like there's just that connection between two the two of them. They're always uh, joking when they are together. Uh, uh you know, Anga is good another thing. You know, I guess that high school love, if it was high school anyway. <laughs> So, and then um, I liked Ukutumaye and he took an opportunity to actually talk about her business, which is something that I never understand when people do reality shows and um, a reality show for the whole season and not even once talk about their business and not even once show us their products, you know. So she's taking an opportunity to talk about uh, these dresses uh, she's, uh, that she's selling so I don't know if she's designing them or whatever or she's just selling Jack Pella and if you go on her Instagram uh, Umayeni uh, she is uh, always uh, posting photos of these dresses they're nice dresses you know zint like for mama bashadile you know be sontweni or be mall with the kids yeah well lezo ingubo lezo 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 some of them i'm like okay i could wear this some of them i'm like mm, no you know but it's zint ingubo zake zint for a certain uh, style it's a certain style yeah boom so uh, she talks about what happened to they don't know what she is actually selling uh, the dresses so she wants to do a launch and she will be the one she feels like she will be the one to model the clothes because uh, zama full figures you know maybe i'm in denial i'm actually should be wearing those dresses. <laughs> but some of them are really nice you guys and um so like, talking about how nice she looks uh, wearing the because uh, the one of the dresses she was wearing the dress that she was wearing is one of the dresses really that she sells and yeah so i guess what they're planning what to find she's gonna do a launch of, of of some sort or a fashion show of some sort and uh, i thought that that was a good idea for her to actually mention it uh, on the show just in case other people do not know what she's selling clothes maybe they're gonna go check her instagram and start buying the clothes but she's been posting a lot you know every day she posts a different dress so i'm guessing that her business is going very well right now so, uh, and then they start having a conversation about Mpumelelo, whom they end up calling, I guess, his home uh, this time, and they end up calling, 
and uh, apparently umselegu for some reason he has decided Woody he's not going to pay lobola for umpumelelo i don't know what has made him do that and uh but i suspect Woody it's because of my end because even last season hey boy, my nose is shining yo <laughs> even last season oh my was against the idea of going to umselegu akoki lobola for umpumelelo her thing is Mpumelelo is very young like there is no rush there's no reason why you know uh he's 21 why should they rush now Ayolobola and all of that just because he made somebody pregnant doesn't mean he needs to be getting married which i think very is a good idea i think nami just because uh, he has a baby doesn't mean good and it's like funny look a shot what surprised me you guys i always say what's it on the same but they live a very weird life in a sense that 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 into that they do just for the show i guess because last uh season guys when um was talking about in it, it they made it seem like by a hamba by right now you know it was like by it felt like that or oh, that weekend they were going by and then months later, she is still talking about the fact that Bazu So I'm like, ha. Huh. So last season, basically, at and you didn't. Because did you forget that last season you told us and you spoke as if now it's like now it's like now Guys, I don't know if I'm the only one that feels like I thought last last season by a good shawl. So be a shawl of foods. Anyway, yeah, he says it's okay. I got mind with some shawl, but you know he's not gonna pay lobolo. And umpumela must not think about uzo loge mitse samantem bazane. Yena uzo uzo shawl. I think honestly, uma uma yena put pressure. Bang yena camera yena wafu wapu wasi la la la. Gite, I was really lovely, la lengan. So you not. Ah, pelu my end my set. Pelu mina ngeng umelu shi. Usuwe se kati le labo. So I I really think Ogoti. Eh, eh, he was. She was like, no, we're not doing that. You know, not even for the show. You're not gonna pay lovely for this child of mine because she's he is young. You know. And uh, of course, Umpumele lo kutwa he has two girlfriends, and Umayeni uh, is is also against his, his idea, saying he feels like ooh, he's just starting trouble for himself. I guess he got that Umpumele lo feels like he can handle it. You know, I don't know why you would do that to your life, to yourself, or oh, even those girls. I don't know why they're doing it. Anyway, they talk about the fact that. Uh, Uti ufunguenza umtwana i party so um um umtwana is going to visit apparently she is from Cape Town they met in Cape Town so she is going to come with the baby so that they have a party so they're just talking about that I'm so glad you guys that u u u um is not going to pay lobola for umpumelelo listen indo damast okay indo damast pay lobola indo damast tibula you know indo damast don't saganzima indo damast go up here okay and i also just feel like he's young uh, maybe if he was like like close to 30 or something i'll be like okay maybe i just feel like he's young you know and he looks like he's still just enjoying his life why would they put that much uh, pressure on him you know so i guess eventually um, 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 um listen to somebody and uh, he has decided of course he's pretending as if it was his decision to not pay lobola uh well as long as he can pretend but as long as he's not paying lobola for that boy i'm happy about it okay so they make a decision to go together they're going to have a party and that's the day that they're going to get to meet uh it's funny you guys it's really really like strange because this is something that we we actually do accept as a society because Umselego has never been excited about the fact that Usne is having babies. Even when Usne had just one child. At some point, Umselego never wanted to have anything to do with that child. I remember even him saying, when it was just to turn door, saying, um, 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 she mustn't ask her for anything that has to do with Ingane. You know, Yena Uzo Nagezaki Ingane, not as Gasne. 
I guess it's a, let's ignore the fact that there's now some gay logos and there's also the, the one gay that is coming. But compare that situation with the situation Gampumelelo now Pumelelo having a baby. How excited Umselego is to meet the baby Gampumelelo. And we seem to just be okay as a society in the differences in how fathers treat uh, uh, daughters and how they treat sons. The excitement, Gamselo, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, oh, wow. I'm sure not today is some of the things that she she looks at. Uguti, he's so excited about it. Uh, Uguti, he's going to meet the mother of of the child. <sighs> and guys, guys, it feels weird, honestly. Honestly. Oh, but uh, obviously, Gamselo Gouvele seems to love uh, Abafana back more than he loves the girls. Uh, you know, it's like, it's clear Uguti, the boys are more important than the girls. So I don't like that about it. I really don't. I don't. Angish Uguti must be happy. Uguti and Inganya Kento Mazani had the baby. But at the same time, why is it different? Uguti, you know, they they both not married and, and having babies. Why is it exciting for the other and not and, and very upsetting for the other one? Uh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, the next scene, anyway, I spoke about Usne a lot in the other video, but the next scene was uh, Usne uh, talking up, uh, talking to Matele, uh, Matele trying to uh, get Usne to talk about the pregnancy. I think the surprise for me, or the one thing that I didn't know from that conversation was the fact that Usne actually lives in Zumbe. And remember, all the wives have uh, houses in Zumbe. And Umatala has a wife, M Zumbe, but doesn't live M Zumbe. Uhlala e Batima Sesi Park, Uhlala Si Park. So um Usne uh, was given that house by Magdalene to live at. So she actually has a one big house uh, that she can live at with her kids if she just wanted to be uh, to step up and be that responsible uh, mom, you guys. But on the other hand, guys, the worst thing that you can do is let somebody that already feels rejected and feels uh, has the longing for love and acceptance uh, put them in this big empty house all by themselves that is the i feel like that's one of the worst thing you can do to put them in one big house when they already feel alone already feel the longing uh, for love and and acceptance they're already feeling rejected in a way and then you pick if you uh, give them this big old house what are they going to do they're going to seek you know some comfort somewhere and if that comfort is gonna probably come from a man and if it comes from a man a baby is gonna come this is exactly what happened with this name because she came back from Samgelo. she was no longer with Samgelo, leaving him zumbe alone and she must have found a, a man somewhere here in Zumbe. You know, maybe maybe it's one of the workers. I don't know, you guys, but that house was so big that she felt like she needed uh, a company and the baby is here, you know. And so I, I looked at the house idea as well. That, that was such a nice thing for my child to do. But I also felt like maybe that's exactly why Lokuza Nusne uh, fell pregnant because she had all of the space and whatever. And also that feeling that you have inside when you feel like you're missing something makes you want to uh, get attention somewhere and she got it from a man. We, we just don't know which man it is right now because she is saying that she's no longer with Baba Gassamgel. Anyway, you guys, that was the, uh, the part of uh, the episode that I didn't get to uh, review uh, last week. Anyway, you guys, there was a part of me that I felt at some point that maybe they will, they were going to give Mpumelelo his own show when it comes to the other girls. But I feel like they are they are stepping back a, a, a little bit from that storyline. And part of me is happy, you guys, because these kids are really young. I think it really is a good idea for them to just be enjoying their lives and doing what other young kids are doing instead of thinking about in Dabaz's temple and all of that. So part of me is very happy that they're not going to do that and they're not going to focus so much on that. But we might actually get to meet Umawenga Neyake on the show because now they're planning a party for the child. And Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before you want to share it with your friends, with your family. 
and even with strangers in Tanda Kakum.